Hello everyone, it's Chef Archie Pie here. We're going to make a quiche today. Uh, it's a wonderful quiche. In fact, it's a feel-good fiesta feta quiche. Lots of different ingredients. It's beautiful. Let's look at the ingredients, shall we? Okay, here they are laid out in all their glory. Uh, I'm going to uh, start top left with the chopped bacon or the chopped ham. And then we've got five delightful free range eggs. Uh, some single cream or some light cream, some grated sharp cheddar, some fabulous butter, some salt and some pepper. And there you see the, my pride and joy, cherry tomatoes from my garden, uh, some crumbled feta and a pre-baked pastry shell in a 10 inch quiche tray, two inches deep. That will be in a video on another day where I will take you through that step by step. Here we have some uh, chopped bell peppers on the avocado glass tray. Uh, my lovely green jalapeno chili with some mushrooms and some chopped mint from the garden, chopped parsley from the garden, some chopped onions and some garlic. And there we have the ingredients ready to make our feel-good fiesta feta quiche. Let's get cracking, shall we? And in the frying pan, I've got some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, some onions, followed by some bell peppers and some fresh mushrooms, mint, Parsley, jalapeno chili, garlic. Now, we're going to cook it for around five to seven minutes until it's soft on a low to medium heat. Once it's started to get soft, I want to throw in a small nub of butter. I want a little bit of richness in there. Give that a stir, beautiful. Now I'm going to give it a little season with some salt and some ground black pepper. Delightful. I love black pepper in everything, savoury that is. Okay, so once that's soft, just to give you an idea, I'll just give it a toss. To give you an idea of how soft it is, I just want to show you how translucent it is. So it's soft, but it's not brown. Okay, set that aside for 10 minutes. And here are our beaten eggs next to our pastry shell. Beaten those five eggs, and I'm gonna pop in a little bit of salt and pepper, season the custard, there we are, give that a mix up and add our cream. Beautiful, and mix that too. There we are, mix it really, really well. You can sieve this if you like, but I don't bother. Okay, let's pop in the uh, sharp cheddar into the pastry case and let's mix that around. I want everyone to get some cheese, nice and even. Now I'm going to put in half of my vegetables. Okay, let's spread those around as well. Let's scatter all those bacon bits or ham. You can use ham if you prefer. You can use any meat, any cooked meat, but I personally, for this quiche, I like bacon. Okay, that's in as well. Okay, come on, spread it out, hurry up. I haven't got time to waste. And the rest of the vegetables, there we are. Spread those around too. Okay, it's looking rather nice now. Now I'm going to put in the other cheese, the feta. Once again, spread it out. Nothing worse than one person having all the feta, another person having none. Get nice and even, so when you portion it, everyone gets their quota. Beautiful, and I do like feta. Okay, now we're going to pop in our custard. And this is a custard, it's a savoury custard. Because we've sweet, uh, we've <laughs> seasoned it rather, sweetened it. Seasoned it with salt and pepper. There we are, pop that in. You may not need all of it, but don't forget to leave a gap at the top because you're going to put some tomatoes in shortly. Some halved cherry tomatoes, which I'm very, very proud of. Have I said that? I think I've said that already, actually. You can make whatever pattern you prefer on top. I'm attempting to make a circular pattern. I'm not sure if it's going to be that professional, though. Here we are. It could be better, but it's okay. A little bit more pepper for me on top of those tomatoes. There we are, it's all ready for the oven. So uh, very, very carefully and very gently, lift it and pop it in the oven. There we are, gently, no spillages please. Thank you, and it's cooked. After around 35 minutes in the oven, here is our quiche. And I'm going to tell you something, this is perfect for tea, for a tea party. If you invite the grandmother round or the aunt, 
This is perfect. Everybody, I'm glad you've uh, watched my clip today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, would you like or share or subscribe or even press the notification button or the notification bell? I can't remember which it is. Listen, this is Chef Archie Pie here, sending you all lots of love. Do take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>